Steve Strange, alias Visage. You had a few hits last year and this year as well with Fate to Grey, Mind of a Toy, Visage and the last one, The Damned on Crime. And as the legend goes, first, you're London's ultimate dandy, and second, <laughs> your songs and your music were first tapes you played in the clubs you were running. Yeah, the music was created for the nightclubs that we were running because basically we had a handful of records. Myself got disillusioned by the whole punk thing and wanted to cry, try and create a new place for people to go to and the music, that because there was only a handful of records, the music was um, Kraftwerk, Roxy Music, David Bowie, Human League and other material like Lizzie Mercedes Clocks, uh, Gina X, Nina Hagen that we picked up around Europe and maybe a few more but because there was only a handful of records at that time Midge or Rusty Egan were on the verge of splitting up from the rich kids and we had some access to free studio time um, with no, I mean it was just because Midge had heard some of my vocal, some of my singing that I'd done with another band called The Photons and liked my vocal side and asked me to go and but I'd like to work with him on some demos and stuff that's how it started One of your first big successes was uh, Fade to Grey. What was the song about? Um, it was from a trip to Germany and the cold greyness of Germany. And see, looking, coming through the wall, looking around and seeing an old man. And it was not through worry, but just it was like an, me seeing myself like 70 years or whatever later. And the reason for the French vocals is because I do like... I do like France, but Paris. And Rusty's girlfriend happened to be in the studio. And as she was saying, she was saying Davini on degree, and it sounded great, and it just fitted in with the whole atmosphere and the feeling of the song. And that's why it was brought in, the French lyrics. Okay. What's your actual involvement in the video clips? you do for your songs because they always are very brilliant thank you um, yeah I think so I, th I look at our videos as many movies and the same with them I do the casting choose the models choose the hairdresser and makeup artist cl the clothes and do the styling as well as far as casting is concerned you were uh, you participated in a video for David Bowie Ashes to Ashes how did that came? through the Blitz because they used to come to the Blitz every now and again and asked, asked me if I'd choose some people to be in the video for him and he was going to come down to the club that night and while, that, while he was there he pointed out certain people and then as it happens I said well that's a designer called Judith Franklin who was designing the clothes along with myself what I was wearing in that video so the whole concept of that video with the, with the clothes was nothing, I mean he got all the credit and we didn't get anything, <laughs> which was a great video, I think he's a very talented guy yeah. and he was great to work with. You're very careful about the, the visuals, the image and everything and you were associated from the beginning with uh, what was called the new romantic thing. <laughs> <laughs> what are your views about that? <laughs> the new romantic thing was a label which I couldn't, I can't and I couldn't have done nothing about it. That was last year. Mm. This year is a new concept. But then again, I understand why it was, why people wanted to call it the New Romantics. There was an air of romance in, in sort of in the mood and in the evening. You know, the music we were playing was stuff like Frank Sinatra. Mm -hmm. the, the, the clothing had returned and gone to very sort of rough old pre-Victorian Edwardian. And the mood was very like romantic, so I can understand. But it was given that label, so they had something to read about. And if you're reading about something, it's got to have a tag. Mm -hmm. But the best tag is, although it sounds pretentious, is the cult with no name, because all the time it's bettering itself. And what's coming out, hopefully, and I think so, is getting more productive. Your last single is called The Damned Don't Cry. 
And it's inspired by Visconti, isn't it? Yeah, the film. Joe Bargot is my favourite actor. And I think I know what the next question is. <laughs> and it's not promoting fascism or Nazism. Joe no, no. Bar <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bargot in that film was actually fighting it. Yeah. Um, like, like, but um, the video is based on a dream, a dream sequence that comes to reality.